And now you're going to be off to the races a lot faster because now you don't have to necessarily go to brokers. Real Estate Lab. Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Danny. I'm part of the Real Estate Lab team, and I'm going to be showing you guys today how to find off-market deals in order to contact donors, um, know their emails, and then also be able to send mailers to their address. Now, a lot of people are going to be using different databases that are really good to use. CoStar, Reonomy are uh, two that I have used in the past, and what they do is they pull these lists and export them and just start calling. Now, no, no software is perfect and they sometimes aren't always accurate. So for that reason, I'm going to show you guys how to verify those and build your own list. If you don't have CoStar or Reonomy or any other software that allows you to do these things. So this is an Excel sheet that we'll have provided for you, um, but very basic and for you to be able to make yourself. But basically what we have here is the first name, last name, property address, current address, all phone numbers and emails. Now, well, you'll be able to understand this as we go through it, but first things first is we're going to start in Google Chrome or whichever user you use, and you're going to type in apartments. Now, to save us some time, I found apartments here in McAllen, Texas, and this one right here was intriguing to me, so I clicked Jackson Square Apartments. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to copy this address, and you're going to find out what county is McAllen in. Now, McAllen is in Hidalgo County in, in the state of Texas. So you're going to type in Hidalgo County property search. And when you do do that, you're going to find a page. Now, this is primarily for Texas. It doesn't happen in all states where they'll be able to have uh, something like this website. But there is different variances. There's different things you can do to find this information. Uh, for me and for the state of Texas, this is what works for me. Um, but as for you guys, you might have different uh, struggles in different states. Um, but this is how you do it for the state of Texas. And then multiple states, you can do the same thing. You just got to work on trying to find the the page or the assessor's office that you have to go to. But the key is, is going to the assessor's office. Now, after you got that address copied, you are going to paste it in there. We're going to eliminate Jackson Square Apartments. And sometimes with this website in general, it won't find it if you click search. So you kind of have to mess with it. It might show it right now or it might not. See, nothing popped up. So we're going to go back to new search and we're going to mess with it a little bit. So 700 Jackson Avenue. We're going to take out the suite number in McAllen, Texas. And there it is. So we're going to click on that one. And now we see the owner's name, the mailing address, and different things like that. Um, so once we find that owner's address, we find the mailing address, it doesn't stop there. We don't have a name to this owner. We can't call them and tell them, hey, you know, Apartments LLC, is this you? You're going to make sure that you find the LLC and the true owners or operators behind it. So we're going to copy and paste that LLC. And we're going to go to this one website called opencorporates.com. It's a free website. Um, it allows you to get access, not always, but get access to certain owners. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the home page. Um, but luckily for us, I already took us to where we need to be. So once you click on the home page, you are going to type in the company name or number into the respective field and the jurisdiction on the side, you're going to make sure that that jurisdiction is the state that you are investing in. For us, it's Texas. So once you you populate those fields, you're going to be able to find the LLC, and it's going to look like this. You're going to have, um, you're going to have all these different information: the company name, company number, status, the branch, registered address, agent agent address, agent name. Now, the registered address is the owner's address, while the agent's address is the agent that may have uh, created the LLC. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find the member at the bottom where it says directors and officers. Find that member, and usually they'll have a name here for who's operating the apartments. Now, if it just has another LLC or corporation, then what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste it and redo this whole process all over again. And we're going to search it, right? 
And sometimes it's not always going to work. If you're searching for two, 300 unit apartments, it can work. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes these operators are really good at hiding themselves. So you might just not find them, but, um, we're going to find them. And so for us with this one, we have found the director, just one director. Um, now this director, we're going to grab his name. We are going to copy it and we're going to go to this nice website called true people search. And now at true people search, what you're going to do is you're going to put in their name and you're going to go back to open corporates and you're going to see the registered address. Cause we know that's the owner's address. So what we're going to do is try finding the owner's address and name. So we know that is the right person. This is the same person we're looking for. Now we have it blurred out. We're not going to show you guys the information for privacy reasons, but when you do see those two things, the owner's name, the owner's address, then you know you have a winner there. And what you're going to do on this site is you are going to look at their current address, which is their mailing address, the phone numbers, and you're going to only use the wireless number. That wireless number, you're going to copy and paste and put it into the spreadsheet. Current address is also going to be in the spreadsheet. And if you go down sometimes, unfortunately not for this specific contact, but sometimes you will have emails. And what you're going to do with those emails is you're going to throw them into the spreadsheet. And now that when we go back to the spreadsheet, you will have, after doing this multiple times, a multiple list of names, numbers, emails, and addresses. Now, what this does for you is it allows you to be able to send mail to respective addresses, making your own mailing templates, call them, be able to have a conversation with them and ask them their true name rather than their LLC name, and then email them and also make it personal to be able to reach out to them and ask them if they're willing to sell, build a relationship with them, have conversations with them. And now you're going to be off to the races a lot faster because now you don't have to necessarily go to brokers. It's great to do both, but it uh, also helps a lot to be able to know how to do it yourself. So you're able to find these deals. Um, nonetheless, guys, that's how you find off market deals using skip tracing. If you guys need any help, please contact us for support. We'd love to reach out. Mm -hmm.